Last week, we got really positive news when it comes to the fight to restore net neutrality at the FCC. But this week, unfortunately, and I'm so sorry that I have to do this, I'm going to have to rain on your parade because it seems likely that things might take a turn for the worse. Not only because Republicans are going to fight to stop, you know, Jessica Rosenworcel and Gigi Stone from getting confirmed, but because they might have some likely allies in Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema, because of course. So for the breakdown here, we go to Politico's John Handel, who explains Republicans are lining up against one of President Joe Biden's long-awaited picks for the Federal Communications Commission, which means the outcome of this White House priority could come down once again to Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema. At stake are Democrats' hopes for a majority on the five-member FCC, which has been mired in a 2-2 partisan split for all of Biden's term. That in turn will determine whether the agency can get to work on progressives telecom priorities including a revival of the agency's obama era net neutrality rules if the senate fails to act by the end of the year republicans will end up holding the fcc's majority in january even if democrats nominally remain in charge it's yet another example of the endless roadblocks democrats are encountering despite their control of the white house and congress in addition to their struggles in passing an infrastructure bill or meeting their promises on climate change taxes paid leave and health care biden ended months of suspense last week by announcing two Democratic picks for the FCC, nominating Chair Jessica Rosenworcel for a new five-year term on the commission and net neutrality activist Gigi Sohn to fill its open seat. Republican senators largely said they can live with Rosenworcel, but GOP leaders say they're drawing the line at Sohn and her perceived regulatory bent, and they're not on board with the Democrats' push to rush the confirmations through. So they're willing to give Biden Jessica Rosenworcel, who is great, but when you compare Jessica Rosenworcel to Gigi Sohn, Gigi Sohn very clearly has much bigger ambition. She's much more open and firebrand about her support for a free and open internet. And she also wants to regulate, uh, you know, data restrictions. You know, uh, she wants to do a lot. And these Republicans who are bankrolled by the telecom industry, they don't want that to happen. Now, it's possible that Biden can still get both of these appointments through before the end of the year. But that would require zero defections. And when you consider the fact that you have Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, who has previously publicly denounced net neutrality, it seems unlikely. While the two West Virginia and Arizona Democrats are on record as backing Rosenworcel, neither has said a word yet on Sohn, a former top advisor at the Obama-era FCC and co-founder of advocacy group Public Knowledge said. Cinema has historically joined Republicans in fights over FCC policies, including opposing net neutrality. So to reiterate what the article is saying, you know, we have a unique opportunity to restore the FCC uh, the rules that were pro-net neutrality back to what they were before the shill Ajit Pai got in and dismantled it all at the behest of his former employer, Verizon. And now that's all kind of up in limbo because once again, Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin, Republicans have made it very clear. They're not going to support Gigi Sohn. So will Kirsten Cinema, an opponent to net neutrality, and Joe Manchin support Gigi Sohn? It depends. It depends on whether or not their uh, donors at Verizon, Comcast, and AT&T got into their ear. And I'm going to go ahead and guess that that is the case because they're lobbying hard against both Jessica Rosenworcel and Gigi Sohn. But when it comes to Gigi Sohn, they're sounding the alarms. So Ajit Pai's legacy might actually be preserved after all, even having a Democratic administration because of corporate Democrats like Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin. It's just, it's truly um, frustrating, right? If Joe Manchin, or excuse me, Joe Biden had a spine, he would actually be trying to hold these two accountable. Now, we don't know yet, so this is all speculation. But assuming that they fight Gigi Sohn's confirmation, this is the fault of Joe Biden. I mean, he supports net neutrality, so if he wants it, he has to fight for it. And we've seen time and again, Joe Biden just, he can't not be weak, right? Anything that Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema says, anything that they demand, they get it. He capitulates. 
And I think that he really enjoys them being the rotating villain. He enjoys that they're out there to take the brunt of the backlash from progressives. But the buck stops with Biden. He is the president of the United States. If he wants something from his party, he should be able to get it. At least more than more often than not. But that hasn't been the case. So I don't know how this is going to turn out, but just a quick update. It's a little bit um, bleak right now, but we'll have to wait and see. But certainly, um, you know, there needs to be grassroots effort and enthusiasm around getting Gigi Sohn confirmed because it seems like Jessica Wilson more so is a possibility. But that still doesn't matter if at, at the end of the day, the FCC is deadlocked 2 2 and they can't restore net neutrality. So we have to get Gigi Sohn confirmed. And um, we'll just have to wait and see for now. But this is kind of a little bit of a roadblock. And that's extremely disappointing.